This week, Elvis Presley would have been 80 years old. When he died in 1977, he had about $20 million in the bank. That's by today's standards and according to Forbes magazine. Now his estate is worth $400 million. And as Sean Mallon reports, that's because his legacy lives on. It could only happen at Elvis's Graceland home, an 80th birthday party for a man who's been dead for almost 38 years. The irony heightened when the cake was cut by ex-wife Priscilla. Elvis the pelvis, the king, the heartthrob of teenage girls who are now grandmothers. On a legendary day in Toronto's cultural history, thousands jammed Maple Leaf Gardens in April 1957 for two concerts. One of only five dates Presley played outside the United States. Then the screaming started. And it was just a roar. The late Evelyn Dumas had a treasured front row seat. Her son Andy recorded her memories in a 2009 video. Oh, I loved his voice. His voice, oh, he was beautiful. He was beautiful, he still is. Music critics were less kind. The Toronto star's Hugh Thompson sniffed that Elvis was strikingly devoid of talent. Somehow the king survived that and many other jibes to rise into something beyond a pop music star. At his death in 1977, though, he was overweight, unhealthy, and lacking a recent hit. But his passing sparked a pop culture industry that thrives to this day. Well, it's one for the father, two for the son. Dorian Baxter, a.k.a. Elvis Priestley, is a new market minister who's earned international fame by mixing his tribute act with Christian preaching. It was Elvis's gospel music, um, primarily, that led me to become a priest. If I make it to heaven, I'm going to find Elvis, and I'm going to walk up to him, and I'm going to say, thank you. Thank you very much. At the time of Presley's death, there were less than 200 Elvis tribute acts. Now, Baxter estimates there are close to 100,000, a measure of enduring appeal. A British newspaper commissioned a graphic representation of how the king might have looked today, but we'll never know. Sean Mallon, Global News.